I'm Jamie, this is Mike. Today, we're so cutting edge. Why did you bring me here with him? Go! Oh, oh, God! Go! Link and learn. That is amazing. This is really fun. Sorry, mate. It's the worst thing you've done to me. Seriously, this is boogasm about to happen right in front of your eyes. We are near King's Cross in North London and we've come to Scoop, which is an ice cream exhibition. I'm excited because not only is it the British Museum of Food, but they are also showcasing the world's first non-melting ice lolly. I don't have to get the audio tour because Ben is with me and he will explain everything to me, whether he knows about it or not. When you serve ice cream, that would really knock the socks off your guests because this was considered very exotic and very unusual. We're in a freezer. <laughs> The very first ice cream was long before we had freezers, so they would climb mountains, gather ice, take it down to the villages and chop it up with fruit. Always happens when they walk out of a freezer. <laughs> this in the centre is the earliest known ice cream machine made in England. This room lets us smell the flavours of ice cream from 1691, which is peach, up to the late 1800s, which is cucumber. You just push a button and have a sniff. Oh, it's like peach. It smells peachy. Ooh! Jasmine's first, right? <laughs> it smells of sambuca. <laughs> <laughs> Stitched up again, James. Uh, <laughs> So this is our new concoction, cumin and orange. That's great. This is your science technology crown. Okay. So if you could pop it on for me and face this way. So Ben's got this device on his head that kind of visualizes his brain waves and he is now eating ice cream and his brain waves are going mental over it. He obviously loves it. What we want you to do is eat as many scoops as quick as possible and see what brain <laughs> see what brain freeze looks like. Okay. Uh, okay. Go. Go. Oh God. Have you got it yet? Is it, is it working? Are you getting it? Yeah. Vanilla fog. So you can sniff it and lick it for five seconds. Lick and, and learn. Get a little taste of it. I'm getting like, I'm getting vanilla. I'm getting a little yeah. bit of vanilla just like on my tongue more than my, my nose. Whee! It does look radioactive. Are you now ready to try what we come here for? Yes. I'm like hyped up now. That's like the hype machine. I still don't really understand it. It's an apple flavor with fruit fibers. I'm instantly more impressed than I thought it was going to be. This, apparently, could last all day. No ice lolly lasts all day out of the freezer. A cross between an ice lolly and a, and a fruit pastel. It's kind of jelly, you can almost like pull it, pull it a little bit. Bouncy, bouncy, yeah, bouncy. It's bouncy. See? Can't do that with an ice lolly. Yeah, it's like eating frozen jelly. I think you have to bite into it to get any flavor. So I've been so, distracted by the slight difference in texture that I haven't noticed there is absolutely nothing dripping. The bottom of it is completely intact. The wooden stick, completely dry. In comparison to a normal ice lolly, are you getting the same satisfaction from sucking on it? It's almost a delayed satisfaction because first off I'm confused and then a little bewildered and then when you get past it, it's a frozen fruit based lolly. That it's amazing, it confuses my food science -y brain. It's a bit weird, it's a bit cool. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. nearly impressed, <laughs> nearly. Getting there. Okay, I think we get another one, and we see if we can get it back to the studio for a thumbnail. In one piece. In one piece. No drips. 
On the way home, we came up with an even better idea. Ten minutes in, we should buy ourselves a control. This is not a good idea. I don't. I, I cannot go on the tube for this. It's rush hour. Mike, I can't do this. Good idea. Contingency. Any water that's frozen on the outside has now melted. What I'm left with, I don't think it's going to change. Oh no, no, no. I don't know why I came on this trip. This is really bad. Two qualified chefs and this is what we get them to do. This is just a jelly on a stick now. We've made it back to the studio, took about 45 minutes. Hold up your stick, James. Told you it'd make it. One thing I would say is I'm a big fan of Bombers and Par because I feel like, as I often do, they've stretched the definition of something. I'm not sure that's still a nice lolly. That's a nice way of putting it. But it was good fun, right? <laughs> fall off, fall off, fall off, fall off, fall off. So what crazy food have you seen? Are there new foods that we need to be trying out? Comment down below, let us know. And to make sure that you're up to date and you get all of our notifications, make sure you click the little bell and you'll be alerted every time we release more cutting edge videos like this one. But for now, enjoy the rest of your week and we will see you on Sunday at four o'clock. Goodbye. Goodbye. As we mentioned, Sorted is just run by a group of friends. So if you like what we're doing, then there are loads of ways you can support us and get more involved. Everything you need to know is linked below. Thanks and hope to see you in a few days. In comparison to what you usually suck on, are you getting, <laughs> are you getting satisfaction from sucking on that? <laughs>